Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to review how you can actually make the bird feeder that you've seen in the thumbnail. It is so easy. This particular project I believe that everybody can do with probably scrap pieces of metal that you have around the shop or, or scrap pieces of wood or you know pieces of rope, you name it. I'm going to show you how this all goes together and this is probably one of the best bird feeders that you can actually make because it's the type of bird feeder that all birds would actually go to and uh, when you're thinking about putting bird feeders in your backyard well as you can see in the thumbnail I got one for uh, uh, suet feeder and different birds only use that and then I've got the uh, cylindrical one where only small birds can go on there now the one that I'm going to show you how to make it which is going to be so easy so fast well all birds will actually use that particular feeder except the ones that will only use the suet feeder so this is more or less a, a universal bird feeder and uh, it's simple it's easy and I'm going to show you how fast something like this can be built for probably next to nothing if you got all these materials right but uh, and most people do so let's go over to the bench here and I'll show you the materials and I'll show you how this is all going to go together Okay, so everything to build this with is going to be done. Now I'm just using a five quarter piece of board. So it's five and a half inches. I'm going to make two cuts and uh, it's going to be about one and three quarters inch for each strip. You can adjust the dimensions or whatever you want. Use different type of board if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use some uh, one sixteenth braided cable. You can just use string, wire, you name it. I'm going to use a, uh, a stapler. Now you could just use nails, screws. It's a lot of different variables here, the way you want to put it together. So just use what you have. And I'm going to use a uh, glue gun. Uh, you don't need to use a glue gun. Again, you could use nails or screws. And I have some aluminum. I guess this would just be like screen door meshing. But you can use the one that's, uh, I guess vinyl or plastic screen door meshing if you like um, you know a lot of people have screen doors in their houses and they actually have leftover pieces which is ideal for a project like this so I'm going to bring you back after I cut these three pieces up we're going to clean this all off and I'm going to show you how easy this is going to go together okay so let's take a look and see what we got all we have is three strips right so you just take your three strips and you can see how this is going to be just completely intersect at a 90, which is fine. Uh, but this one here, all you have to do is just bring it right to the corner on this side, right to the corner on this side, draw a line across here, which is very easy. That's going to be your cut line. And then with the small pencil, I just marked under the bottom, right, which is very easy to do. So that's all you have to do. So all I'm going to do is just make one cut on this board and one cut underneath here and the same on that side. So I mean whether you got a hand saw, I'm using a miter saw, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what's next with the glue gun. Okay so we got it all cut and that's what we got right there. Now that is nothing of a perfect angle at all. This is freestyle with whatever scrap pieces of material you have around and uh, you don't have to be perfect on your corners because you're never going to see them the only thing I've done instead of using these leftover pieces of scrap I'm going to use this piece of uh, scrap vinyl that I have sitting around and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hot glue gun on each one of these uh, pieces and glue them together because it goes fast and then I'll bring you back after that's done okay so I cut the three pieces of uh, uh, vinyl PVC whatever it is and you could see like I really glued it up really good underneath and around and if you take a good look there you could see even in the, the cracks over here yeah I filled them all in and uh, even on this one here you could see where I buttered it right in there all the way around and uh, I'm going to let that dry up and uh, 
cool down and I'm going to scrape all the the pieces off with just an X-Acto knife that comes off easy. Then I'm going to fire two screws in each one and then I'm going to drill a hole and I'll show you what that's for and uh, if you want you can only put nails in here if you wanted but uh, this will last you I, I'm going to guess probably 20 years easy just the way it's going to be and uh, I'll bring it back and I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll go on to the next process of putting the mesh underneath okay so we're on to the next step here we're going to put the uh, the mesh on below I just give it a quick sanding all the way around get all the rough edges off and as you can see here I just got it set in the corners here just offset just a bit you could see and then I took some black marker to mark out the uh, the outline and then I'll just cut that line maybe uh, maybe an eighth of an inch more so everything is inside and uh, and then we'll I'll show you how I'm going to uh, staple it on and what these holes are for so let me cut this out here first then I'll bring you back and uh, I'll show you what the holes are all for and uh, I'll get the stapler out and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that okay so here we go I got the uh, I got the screening all lined up here and uh, all I'm going to do is just it's as easy as that put a tack in there now of course like I said before you could use um, just nails right Now you can see how easy that is. I'll finish doing the rest here, then I'll bring you back and I'll show you what we're going to do with the uh, braided uh, steel cable. Okay, so let's just take a look what I did here. And if you take a look, you can see I brought the uh, armored cable up and just fired in with these uh, staples. And uh, you know that's pretty easy, I mean this was like a two minute job. And if we take a look on the other side, it's starting to come together now. And I got the uh, three cables. I got two the exact same length. And I got one that is uh, a lot longer. And I'll show you how that's going to go. So you can see how you got to get the cables just the right length. And then you attach them together with a hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach these cables together, all the three cables. And uh, we'll go back with that and I'll show you my hydraulic uh, cable crimper. And I'll show you how easy it is if you got one. But if you don't, like I said, you could just use wire. Or you could just use uh, like regular mechanics wire. Or you could use just rope if you wanted to. I mean, this is not heavy at all. This is so light. And I mean, it's easy to make. So I'll bring you back when I got the hydraulic crimper all set up. Well, we're almost there. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did with these uh, pieces of uh, braided cable. And if you take a look there, all I do is just put a piece of uh, just tape on there. And then I put the uh, assuaging uh, crimper just right next to it. And I just made them so that it would just hang somewhat level. You know, it's not got to be perfect, but I mean, it's level enough, right? And uh, and then I'll crimp it. So I'll show you now how I crimp these. Okay, I got it in the crimper here. And all I'm doing is cranking up on the... Oh, I better tighten it down a bit better. And I'm just going to crank that. Boy, I better get this a little tighter than that. <clears throat> okay. And just crank that right good right uh, right there let's take a look now are any of these wires moving no they're not moving they're pretty well it's cranked right in there pretty good but what I am going to do is I'm going to put the next die down and crank it a little bit more but uh, you get the idea how this goes I'm going to cut off these wires then I'll bring you back and uh, show you hanging up next to my next bird feeders. Well, before I go outside and hang it up, I just want to show you some of the bird seed that I actually put in there. 
and uh, I do use some of these dry roasted uh, peanuts and I crush them up and they're in here and some big sunflower seeds that come out of my garden and just regular bird seed and uh, you're probably wondering does it all drop through no it stays in there and of course if it rains well the water will all percolate down through so that's pretty much the project there. Let's go outside, I'm gonna hang it up and I'll show you a special spot that's completely squirrel proof. No squirrels can get to this because I know a lot of people are thinking, yeah, you're just gonna feed the squirrels. And the other thing I'll show you is I finish off the end here with just this fabricated hook. And where I'm hanging it is this exact same wire. So I find that if I put a little piece of soft rubber hose on here, that it will not slide you know in the wind and move it up and down the line so let's go outside and let's see the special spot that I have this hanging up on okay so there's the spot that it's hanging up and it's about four feet off the ground the wire itself you can see there's a wire going here I got it going from each side of my buildings and uh, yeah no squirrels can get to that they haven't gotten to this one or this one all winter long they can't climb, you know, and walk along a 1 16th, you know, steel cable. And uh, so this is it here. And I made it low enough so that I could actually just come over and put the seeds in no problem. And that's it right there. It's sitting pretty level. And, uh, you know, that's it right there. And I think it's a uh, an easy bird feeder to make. So what do you think? I mean, the birds are gonna love this. I just put it out. And I think anybody could build one of these pretty much out of all scrap pieces. And uh, the difference between this feeder compared to this one is no big birds can get on this one. I haven't seen one. I got these small little small birds that go on this one. It's the same bird feed and uh, this one here would be for all the birds. And this one here, well, the only ones that I see on there really are like these black and white looking woodpecker kind of birds. And they just peck at that real, like go crazy. So I've already refilled this twice already. And uh, yeah, they like that a lot. So this is the unit here and she's all ready to go and this will last at least 20 years, no problem. So, what do you think? Well, I think everybody could actually accomplish that little bird feeder. And uh, like I say, it'll be for all the birds. And uh, if you want to know how I put that steel braided cable out there, I'll put one of these boxes at the end there for a video uh, preview and show you exactly how you can actually do that as well. Because the biggest problem a lot of people have with putting out bird feeders is the squirrels. The squirrels will get into that bird feeder and I'll tell you the braided cable not a chance they cannot walk along a 1 16th taut braided cable and uh, four feet off the ground well I tell you what if there's squirrels that are start jumping four feet off the ground onto that bird feeder well I can just shorten that right up even higher right because I don't think I got any uh, squirrels that are going to be doing that but uh, you never know, they may try. They're pretty persistent. So thanks for joining me here today and, and hope you like this little bit of a project. A project that I thought that I'd make so everybody could do as well. So come back again. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe and have some more fun. Cheers.